in the building. There was God. And the word was God. And the word is God. Ah. What's happening? What's the word? What it is, my people? What's the word? What it look like, baby? What's the word? What's the word? What's the word? Uh. Hot topics, hot comics, interviews and news, we got it. Nothing but the real when we drop it. So gather up the whole fam to watch it. Yeah, we got it all wrapped up. Scriptures and plus lots of laughter. After you peep each episode, let everybody know the name of the show. What's the word? Baby, I need to talk to you for a minute. What's the matter? A voice came to me saying we needed to start going to Bible study and Sunday school. Bible study in Sunday school? Yeah. For what? Because we raising kids now. Don't you want your kids to grow up learning the word? The word? What word? See, you know what? Every time I bring a subject to you that's serious, you always try to turn it into a joke. Whatever, man. Whatever. And every time I'm sitting here trying to watch the game here, you come with the word, or what's the word, <laughs> in the word. Throw that pass for. Hand the ball off. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Go. Touchdown. My man. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. How about this TV? Man, this TV acting up again. I ain't got time for this. Let me go cut the radio on and try to catch this game. This is the worst. I guess this radio can catch the game. Jesus, Jesus, nobody want to hear no gospel. Jesus, 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 gospel music. The game. The game. I'm going home. All is on is gospel music. Gospel music again. Come on, come on. The game, the game. Go to church. Who's that? Let me cut this radio off, get up out of here. Go get my paper. Yes, I read the paper since the TV and the radio are working. I just like to catch up with my sports. Man. Go to church. Who is that? I am. I am who? I am who I say I am. Babe. Babe. I said get up and go to church. Oh, I gotta get up out of here. This spooky man. I gotta get up out of here. Wife coming here telling me she hearing voices. TV ain't working. Radio ain't working. Can't read my newspaper. Somebody named I Am is hollering at me, telling me to get up and go minister and go to church. I gotta get myself together, get up out of here. This has spooked me. Got me so nervous, I can't even put my coat on. Got a good book, I got to go. All right, baby, I'll see you at the church. I'm going to Sunday school. you gave me about how to get your husband to go to Sunday school work. You know that fool ran out of here with a suit and tie on that didn't even match. I am who I said I am, girl. He gone to Sunday school today. What up, this your main man, non-fiction man, representing above only entertainment. We got my brothers with me, A Wall, New Jerus. Y'all probably got a chance to check out Jay Weathers already. We gonna go ahead and get into this cipher real quick though. So check it. Y'all ready? Yeah. 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 Hey yo, 
I live for the king who never been short of great. And the Jezebel is someone I would never date. He's an on time God, homie, he's never late. I'm going higher in Christ. Elevate. They ride going up, but they crash landed. Living life without Christ, man, I couldn't manage. Call him Jesus. Yeah, speaking Spanish. I'm in that UFO, about to lead the planet. This is your moment. Own it. Don't let it get away, cause it may be the only chance you get. And you can die today. And sin is a free. Somebody got paid. And somebody did. No matter what you did, you can live again. No matter where you are, you can come to him and him. All sins are forgiven. It is your decision and I can't make it for you. What's good, y'all? This is Supreme Glory. This is What's the Word. And we out here in D.C., 13th and U Street, doing what we do best, giving the community a voice. Today's topic is bullying. Let's see what they got to say about that. If you are a parent, uh, how would you respond to your child coming home saying they're being bullied by another student? I think it would depend on the severity of the bullying. Okay. Is this something my child can handle on their own because I don't want to fight my child's battles for them? Or is the bullying so severe that you need a grown-up to intervene? What comes to mind for you Will, when, when we talk about bullying? Uh, well, it's just... Uh easy for kids in school to bully other kids because there's so only so many, so many teachers and principals to go around and they can't be watching the kids all the time so it's going to happen there's no way to stop it so with your experiences when you were younger what would be your advice your advice to your daughter if she was getting bullied what would be your advice to her I mean, don't be scared don't keep it to yourself you need to tell somebody because the longer you let it go on the longer it's going to proceed so so dave um what goes through the mind? What goes through? What went through your mind when you was a bully and you picked on a kid? What 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 actually really made you? Was it because it was enjoyment, you know, or because you get respect, or what is? What was it? I mean, all this time, I'm not trying to speak religious on, but as far as but my terms, but at the time, I was ignorant, so I didn't care. I felt as though ain't nobody cared about me, so I didn't care at all. So therefore, that's why I went as far as my when people. People that still bullying now, I look at as ignorance now. I'm with my man Rod. How you doing, Rod? I'm doing just fine. What's the question? Oh, the question is, we talking about bullying, Rod. What comes to mind when you hear the term bullying? Punch in the mouth. If um, there are teachers out there who um, may see and may know that there's bullying going on in their class or with their students, but they don't take it as serious. Um, and then some of the kids get overlooked. What would you say to a parent or what would be your actions as a mother um, towards the school system when they overlook someone being bullied? You hold them responsible. Adult to adult, you hold them responsible. If your child comes home and tells you a particular thing is happening or you hear it in a conversation amongst your child and their friends, believe it. And if they say the teacher saw it and the teacher doesn't do anything, march yourself into that school. March yourself into the principal's office, the guidance counselor's office. Call a mandatory meeting with that teacher. If they don't show, go to the school board. They are responsible for your children, period, bottom line. There are those who will say, I don't want to get involved. There are those who say they fear retaliation as adults. That's not okay either. It just perpetuates the cycle. Great. Thanks a lot, Miss Lauren. Thank you. you have a great day, okay? Thank Thanks you. a lot. That's what's up, studios in the lounge area. And right now we got my brother, my man, Pastor Jason Weathers. I call him my little big brother. You're going to see why in a minute. Man of God, once again, it is such a pleasure to have you here. Indeed. Before we, I, without any further ado, I want to just jump right on into this thing. Let's go. Um, and I'm come, we, we brought you on for this because because I know that God has gifted you in the area of certain studies, you know what I'm saying? Um, right. 
And basically, one of those areas is the occult. Right. And, um, you know, we, talk, we talked on another episode about the, the darkness of, of a man's heart. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I, I believe that we're going to speak to that today. We're going to shine some light on some things that people may have been totally unaware, totally in the dark about. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, again, the occult. First of all, what is the occult? Well, well the actual word occult, um, the word has to do with what is hidden, that which is concealed. The occult is actually defined in the dictionary, if you look for yourself, mm -hmm. it's defined as mag magic, astrology, mm -hmm. uh, or any other uh, practice that deals with the supernatural mm -hmm. in such a way where secret knowledge and hidden mysteries mm -hmm. bring man supernatural power. Witchcraft oaths and initiations include um, vows that say, mm -hmm. if I share the secrets of this craft, mm -hmm. uh, it's funny because Freemasonry, <laughs> they call it the craft, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Jay-Z on his shirts, Rocco Air right. shirts has the craft, right. nothing yeah. more than a variation on witchcraft. Exactly. But the fact of the matter is, they even include in their initiations mm -hmm. uh, vows that say, if I share the secrets of uh, this religious practice of this secret uh, um, um, uh, uh, order, order mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. If I share the knowledge of these of this secret order, mm -hmm. let these powers mm -hmm. that I gain work against me. Mm -hmm. Now let me ask you something: How does a power have a mind to work on its own? Why? Because those powers are demons. Demons, exactly. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. It makes it makes perfect sense, man. And. Uh, now, I don't want the people to get confused. Yeah. There's a lot. Uh, I don't remember. I think it might have been Batman. Right. Where um, I think the Joker said uh, the greatest trick the devil ever performed was making people believe that he didn't exist. Exactly. You have a lot of people who see uh, these movies. You have a lot of people who hear these stories. And they, they chalk it up as some kind of a joke. Some kind of a, um, uh, it ain't real. You know, it'll never happen. Evil doesn't exist. Blah, blah, blah. Right. And... The Word of God, again, going back to the Word of God, right. tells us plainly that it exists. Yes. These people are endowed with some, talk, some sort of power, That's right. but it's not from God, it's from the enemy. That's right. When, when Moses was, trying to, uh, was going to uh, present himself to Pharaoh, right. two magicians came. And That's what right. did they do? They performed tricks. They performed these miracles, so Janet, to speak. Janice and John Brace. Janice right. and John Brace. Right. And... Um, and what happened, what was symbolic, is that when their staffs turned into snakes, right. it was swallowed up by the staff that turned into snake from Moses. That's right. Symbolizing that, yeah, they might have, they can do tricks. That's right. But it's nothing compared to the power Vastly of God. Vastly inferior to the power Va of God. Exactly. It's, a, it's, it's merely a, uh, uh, a mimicry. Man, look, y'all heard it right here on What's the Word? My brother, Pastor Jason Weathers, of Holy Way International Fellowship and also the CEO of Above Only Entertainment. Yo, keep, keep yo, stay tuned to what's the word, y'all, because, you know, we're here. We're, this is a conduit. You know what I'm saying? Y'all keep praying for us that God will continue to use us as he sees fit. In Jesus' name, we love y'all. Shalom. You.